Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7c practice problem. The topic for today's video is the wave equation. So as usual, if you're finding this content helpful, it really helps our channel when you click that like button. Okay, so let's get started. So a one dimensional wave traveling on a 50 centimeters long piece of rope is observed to have the following x uh, the following y graphs. The y versus x graph is at a time t is equal to 0 seconds and the y uh, versus t graph is at a position 15 centimeters. If, uh, so, okay, so question A is if on this same 50 centimeters piece of rope you were to excite a new wave that had the same fixed phase constant, same amplitude and same equilibrium position but traveled in the opposite direction and had a frequency half that of the wave picture above, what equation would describe this new wave? So now for part B, uh, on the graph provided below, plot y versus t, no, y versus x for t is equal to zero for this new wave on this rope. Now I'm gonna show you a bigger picture of the graphs that we're gonna be working with right now on the screen. You know, as usual with these problems, if you want to work with the PDF of the original quiz that I pulled through, um, I'm going to leave a link down on the description below or the comments below, whatever, just look for it. It's going to be uh, right there, but this is a bigger picture. Okay, so as you can see, I have, uh, you know, copied to the best of my abilities the uh, the waves here. If we need to go back, so the original ones have I'll put them on the screen, but you know I did the best that I could. So this problem wants um same amplitude and then what else? Same fixed phase constant. Same equilibrium position. opposite direction frequency half of the way picture below so frequency so the new one must be half that of the old one and then they aren't saying anything about lambda which you know that hints that something's gonna change there as well but we'll see when we get there and they want the new equation okay so basically this is a scenario in which we have to figure out the old equation first apply some changes and then that's what's gonna get us to our uh, new equation right so i'm going to start with a different piece of paper because i don't think that this is all going to fit and the first thing that we're going to do is you know what forget about the second part let's just find out what the original equation is and then we'll modify so the first thing that i want to do is figure out whether uh, this wave is moving left or right and the way in which you do this, when, whenever you have a yx and a yt graph, is you just cross them. So this is t is equal to zero right here. So this is over here. And this is x is equal to 15. So over here, like this. So at uh, x is equal to 15, we're over here, and we are at 0, but now we don't know if the wave is moving like this or like this, so basically we're going to look over here and we see that as time goes by, this guy is actually starting to move down, which means that the wave is actually going to the right. It means that the wave is actually moving to the right because as I, uh, 
you know, as this entire orange thing moves to the right, this little point is going to sink downwards, which is consistent with this little point sinking downwards. So the original wave, this piece of paper is going to be for the original wave, is moving right. Which means that on the wave equation, that's a negative sign. Now, amplitude. Amplitude is just a matter of doing mins here and max. And then it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 2. That is 2.5 centimeters. Equilibrium position, I always do max minus A, so 3 minus 2.5, that is equal to 0 0.5 centimeters. Zero point five centimeters. That means that uh, this graph was displaced zero point five centimeters plus, so it was uh, displaced upwards. Now, lambda, lambda, we get from this graph over here because this is the y versus x graph, right? So let's just see. So usually I would take two maximums, but there aren't even two maximums. And then the uh, the other problem that I have over here is that the minimums aren't, you know, necessarily very well located so that I can use my graph that I drew. However, this point over here is this point over here and it falls at 30, right? So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to pull the PDF out, is that this has to be 30 just by using this point over here. Again, if you want to use min and min, that's fine. Just go to the PDF because that should be easier. But I can very easily see if I use an alternative point, which is just this one, that your answer should be 30 no matter what. Like you can see that this is like a little bit less than 10 and then this is a little bit less than 40. So it would give you 30 no matter what. Now, uh, period. Your period is equal to, oh, we can easily grab maximums over here. No, no, I don't think so. No, the, the PDF looks different. So what we can do is grab the minimums because if you look at the original picture, if you look at your um, original picture, you can see that the maximums aren't necessarily well placed. However, your minimums are well placed at one and five. So, this distance is equal to 4, so this is 4 seconds. And now we need to figure out the phase constant. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the method that I always use, which is the substitution method. So for the substitution method, I basically pick whatever point I want. And now let's just pick this one over here. And then I substitute values and figure it out. So, um, so this point over here is x is equal to 15, t is equal to 1. So this is 1, t, and then this entire thing is 15. And then y is equal to negative 2. So if I use these values, what then all I have to do is write my equation and solve for it. So negative 2 is equal to 2.5 sine 2 pi times 1 divided by t, which is 4, minus 2 pi times 15 divided by 30 plus my phase constant and then plus 0 0.5. So this is uh, negative 2.5 divided by 2.5 is equal to sine. Uh, so 2 fourths is just 1 half 
and then 15 so this is one half right yeah so this is uh, one half and then you have this so this is minus pi plus the thing that you're trying to find so sine negative one of negative one um so this is you have one half and then so then this is negative one half so this is plus one half and then this is like this right because you have to subtract them and you're gonna get a negative number but then you're putting it on the other side to solve for this so that will give you a positive number and uh so this is gonna be equal to zero i think i'm pretty sure so sine negative one of negative one divided by pi to get it in pi yeah so this is minus pi halves plus pi halves is equal so this guy is equal to zero as well okay so now that we have all of our parameters what we have to do is again all of this is the original right so now on this page we're actually gonna put like the parameters that are you know some of them we're gonna keep but then some of them are gonna be different so which ones are we gonna keep well amplitude is the same so our amplitude is gonna be the same uh, this zero is gonna be the same this 0 0.5 is gonna be the same however the direction is going to be opposite so instead of moving right this is gonna be moving left and the frequencies are gonna change so our frequency old was 1 over t old so 1 over 4 like this and then we want uh, what do you want half the frequency yeah half of that so our frequency new if we want half of this then we want one eight of that so that means that our new period is actually gonna be eight seconds instead of four. So it's gonna be double. If the frequency if if the frequency is half then the period is double. Now uh, lambda. So they aren't telling me anything about lambda. However we need to we need to remember that uh, your frequency and your period and your lambda are all related by uh, you know the same equation they are all related by an equation which is um so b is equal to distance divided by time so your velocity is not going to change why is your velocity not going to change well because on the l number one you learn that some of the uh, parameters were dependent on the source and some of the parameters were dependent on the material, right? In this case, they are being very specific that you are using the exact same rope. Because you're using the exact same rope as before, that means that your velocity is not going to change because it is 100% dependent on the uh, material, so the rope. But now this guy is uh, double. So if this guy is double, then what needs to happen is that this guy must also be double, right? So you need to make it double as well. So that means that your new lambda is actually going to be double. So it used to be 30, so now it's actually going to be 60 centimeters. Just because if you double this, then this has to double on the same ratio so that your velocity stays the same, which it has to stay the same. So that is basically uh, what you would do. 
So that's it. So now basically what you do is just write your equation and then part B is done. So let's see. So your new equation is equal to same amplitude, so 2.5. Um, sine 2 pi t divided by your new frequency, which is um, 8. Now your wave is on the opposite direction, so it was right, so now it's going to be 8 plus 2 pi x divided by 60. Same phase constant, which is 0, so I'm not even going to write it. And then same equilibrium parameter, so uh, 0.5 centimeters. So this is our final answer over here. So that is basically how we do it. And now for part C, let's see, it's going to be complete the graph, surely. On the graph provided below, plot y at time t is equal 0 seconds for this new wave. Okay, so they want t is equal to 0 seconds. So what we have to do is uh, substitute 0 over here, which basically eliminates this part. And then whatever's left, you have to like make a graph of it. So this graph is going to be... 2.5 sine of 2 by x divided by 8 plus 0 0.5. And honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very honest, I don't know how to do this by eye because uh you know this is a quarter and I don't necessarily know how to move quarters. And also, this is plus 0 0.5, so let's see. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. This is going to be challenging. I just want to say, first of all, that at this point, you can just put a bunch of x on a calculator, like substitute 0, substitute 10, substitute 20, substitute 30. And then after a while, you're just going to like get a very good sense of like where you're going, so you could Go ahead and do that at this point. I'm just gonna try to like logic my way into the graph, but if you just wanna grab a calculator and put a bunch of numbers, you know, more power to you, right? So this is plus 0 0.5. So my equilibrium is actually going to be over here. And then my maximum is going to be at three. Minimum is going to be a 2. Like this. Um, and then. This. Uh, what, what was my lambda? So my lambda was some. Um, 60. So lambda was 60. That means that. At 30, we're gonna have half of a wave. So it starts over here because we don't have a phase constant. Then the maximum must be at 15 because that's literally half between zero and 30. And then another half lambda would be, you know, over here at 45. And then it must go up like this. Okay, so we got it. So something, then hit 30 over here, go down, and then just kind of go up like this. All right, so this is basically how you would do it. And this is pretty much the end of our problem. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Your like really helps our channel, really helps promote our channel. Uh, take care of yourself, guys. These are very weird uh, times right now that we're living in. And I'll see you guys on the next video.